Hello everyone, welcome back to Consortium. Alright, so between the last episode and this episode, I actually got a new computer. So right now I'm actually running the game on a new computer. The good thing about that is that my FPS issue should be fixed. I'm getting much, much better frames, of course, as you'd expect. However, the downside is that since it's a new computer, everything feels different. I feel off my game because I'm... You know, you just get used to how a setup works. And now that everything's a bit different, it just feels very, very strange. So if, like, if everything goes wrong, if absolutely everything in the entire universe that can go wrong with making these videos goes wrong, I apologize in advance. Also, it seems to have introduced some strange visual artifacts for some reason. The lighting now seems a bit messed up. Like, look at this. Like, random shadows seem to be just popping in and out of existence depending on where you move and where you look. It's really weird. Not sure what's up with that. But uh, yeah, hopefully everything goes pretty smoothly. Of course, it's also, it's also been a couple days since I've played, since I was building the computer, and as such, I've pretty much completely forgotten what I was doing. But, of course, I need to discover who the traitor is. And I also need to either rest in my cabin or... Complete the five levels within the Civilian Defense Virtual Trainer scenario. So... You know, I'm actually really surprised that... My second... Se sec I just... I just realized this doesn't say secondary. This says secondary. There's no D. Secondary. Huh. Has it been that way the entire time and I never noticed? Anyway, I'm really surprised that my secondary objective is to discover who the traitor is. It seems like that would be my main one. I mean, I could always do the main objective later. I would think, whereas the secondary one might be time dependent, so... Again, I don't remember what I was doing, but let's just go around and see if I can talk to people and grill them some more. I think I talked to most, if not all, the people, though, but let's try it again. Hmm. You know what? Did I search on the information console for a Seeker? I know I searched for the church. I don't know if I looked for the Seeker. Maybe I should do that. Let's see if I can talk to anyone, though. Nope. Ugh. Someone really needs to clean that up. It's it's not good for crew morale. Having bloody handprints from your fallen comrades. Or partially fallen. Yep, already talked to you, right? Yeah. And the other guy that was there. God, my frame rate is so much better. Alana Boyle, Rook 25. Cargo containment unit. Having fun there? Pretty sure I talked to her. Mm hmm. I can't talk to them until they're done with the work. Hmm. Well, I can talk to him. Let's give it a shot. Hold on a second. I think we're about finished here. Yep, just one more. Bingo! And that, as they say, is all she wrote. All who wrote? <laughs> Never mind. I think we did good work here. Rook 9 should be happier than a wirehead on Black Friday. Yes, yes, well done to us. So, Bishop, I suppose you'd like to now know who we think is responsible for Pawn 7. Rook 25 did say you've been tasked to speak with us, yes? Well, I, honestly, I would just like you to confess. I mean, I know you did it. No, okay. Uh, do either of you know who the killer may be? Wait, you don't actually believe one of us is some kind of killer? It's impossible! I'm still on the camp that Rook 13 is wrong. There's no other reasonable explanation. I have a hard time thinking that Mr. Excon Procedure is ever wrong about anything. Let's talk to Durand. How did you get along with Pawn 7? 
Well enough, I suppose. He was, how do you say, a bit of a mother's boy? I do not understand killing someone so innocent. It is very troubling. Mother's boy? Oh god, and that reminds me, who's gonna tell his parents? I can't do it, I don't have it in me, no way. Don't worry, Pawn44, I'm pretty sure you won't be asked to tell his parents. Wow, I can actually tell him to shush. That is not a very smart thing to say. At least I wouldn't think so. I wonder what your playthrough would look like if you just acted like a dick to every single person in this game. Like, pissed everyone off. I'm pretty sure that job would fall to Knight 15 or the King. Right, yeah, of course it would. I... well, we've just never seen Death aboard this plane before. Today changes things, and I'll bet they'll have cameras aboard in no time. Yep, in no time at all. You are wasting your time with us, Bishop. Go and talk with Pawn 64. I would put all my money on him at least knowing something. Wait a second, you don't know that. He is a friend of mine, and I know he could never do it. Never. No way, not a chance. I know people, Adele, and I know you're wrong. Maybe you're not the best judge of character after all. So he's got something personal going on that he'd rather not talk about. It doesn't make him a killer. <sighs> I am not accusing anyone, but he has been acting unusual. Distant, abrasive, something hasn't frightened. Maybe Pawn 7 caught 64 doing something he should not have been doing. Hmm? Like maybe he was contacting Angelov. You have some extraordinarily bad timing. Hmm? What are you... Oh, no. He is behind me, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Go ahead. Read yes. Awkward. Okay. No problem. I'm on it. Well, uh, duty calls. Hmm. Did I get that one right, Charlie? Duty calls? Haha, <laughs> perfect! And yeah, I should probably get back to work as well. Lots to do. Take care, Bishop. And watch your back. Don't let her bother you. She's alright. She thinks I killed Pawn 7 and helped Angelo. She is not alright. <laughs> Nobody actually believes that. Don't be ridiculous. She was just blowing off some steam, releasing some of that tension we're all feeling today. I know you don't believe it, my friend, and I understand I haven't been myself lately, but I promise you have nothing to worry about, okay? Well, all right. But if I have nothing to worry about, then you stop being so grumpy. It doesn't suit you. I don't suppose you want to tell me what else they said. Um... Well, I don't know if Pawn 11 thinks that he's guilty. She certainly thinks that he's suspicious, that he would know something, that's what she said. He probably knows something, and I wonder why she thinks he knows something. And actually, he does apparently know something, since he obviously came to me that one time a little while ago, asking, or wanting to give me information. Um, nothing that matters. I think it does matter. Do you think she'll speak to anyone else? Night 15, Rook 25 maybe. I only need to stay off the radar a little while longer. W wait, what? Why? It's a little bit suspicious. I can protect you, just tell me the truth. Maybe you can, maybe not. And I'm not ready to talk just yet. Okay, so look, Bishop. I'm sorry, but for now, just just keep away from me, please. Okay, then. What the... <laughs> that looks so strange, the way they just float up. Get... There we go. Okay, what is this standing with me? 64. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. I've got a really good standing with him. 11. I'm surprised he doesn't trust me. Alright, I guess I pushed a little bit too fast. I'll ease off. Hopefully I haven't already pushed too much, though. Now he's not going to tell me anything. I was truthful with him about Wade listening in on our conversation, though. When he's going to tell me something in confidence, which should count for something, I would hope. All right. Angelov is inside of here. Resting. Unconscious. Gary! Gary, who hates me? 
who is looking right at me. Who is apparently not asleep. And just awkwardly staring at me while I awkwardly stare at him. Let's, um... Should I talk to him and annoy him even more? Yeah, why not? Come on, I appreciate you saving my life and all, but give me a break. I, I did not kill Pawn 7. What else do you want? Right, he's the one that said I... He, he can't be interviewed because he needs to go rest. Hmm. Do I push or not? <sighs> sorry. No, I'm sorry, and I'll be fine. A little sleep will do me good. All right, it's been great. Wake me up when we hit BC. Okay, fair enough. Already talked to you. I already talked to you. Okay, so let's go look at the information console. Oh, here's one. For Seeker. That's right, can't press enter. What the hell is that? Several, it's got the messed up text. Several weeks before his death. What is this? Let me read a bit into this. Alright, so this is actually a long time ago. 2028, it's the year... It's in the 2040s, right? I think. Henry, if you're receiving this, I'm sorry I cannot reveal my location or contact you directly. But I'm not taking any chances. You must understand, my friend, that I had to leave you or they were going to kill me. I know that you are still having problems understanding the concept of death. But I also know that you do not want me to die. So forgive me, and help me. I need to find as much information on what the church knows about you, about us, as I can. I'm going to get us some help, Henry. And then, we're going to expose them for what they're trying to do. Please work with the Seeker you were telling me about the other day. Do not be frightened by them. If they are in fact conscious entities you are unable to reject. They could be either very helpful if kept happy, or very dangerous if made angry. Work with them and trust them only until they break that trust. Remember that you are a very special being, Henry. One that always acts with compassion and generosity above all else. I know you remember what I taught you. It's time to exercise those teachings. I'll try to keep you and your seeker updated through messages using the same method. I just hope that you're actually picking this up. So the walls of this so-called motel I'm in right now are practically carpeted in cockroaches. But I'm safe. Finally. I've been jumping from bus to bus for almost two full days, and I think I've finally just lost my tail and can get some bloody sleep. I'm so damn tired. My god. It's so hard to believe how things have turned out. First, Patricia telling me the truth of their intentions. Then, Sarah getting caught up in the middle. Poor Sarah. Why the hell did Mother make her come with me? Tomorrow, I'm going to see what I can do about getting a flight to Ireland and finding a... Alana. I just hope she can pull some strings for me. Not to mention she still owes us a favor. <laughs> I think to call the Boyle family stubborn would be the understatement of the year. I just hope she's at least willing to listen when I get there. Your friend, KC. What the hell? Alana. Alana. Alana Boyle. Okay, hold on. So this was, um, 2028. What is the current date? Uh, let's look for Felix Stowe. 2028. Alright, 2028. 28 and 3. Oh god, mental math is hard. 30, 40, so it's f 12, 13, for like 14 years. 14 years, and she is... I 
Actually, it doesn't say her age, does it? No, but she's obviously fairly young. Like, at most 30, I would say. So... Was she just... Like a kid or a teenager? Like, I know that this contains very important information, I just don't understand it yet. She can pull strings for me. Well, obviously she can't be too young if she's going to be able to pull strings for someone. KC. KC. I can't even put periods in here. Hmm. Nothing. Interesting. It doesn't tell me what the Seekers are. But there's obviously something about Alana Boyle that's very important. Alright, let's go do the training. A hard save here. <laughs> and this game's now on an SSD, so load time should be super fast. I hope. Hey, Bishop, before you actually get going in there, this is a private channel between us, so please speak freely. You've been spending some time with the crew since Pawn 7 was killed, and I was thinking if you even had a guess as to who may be responsible. I could keep an eye out. Maybe we'll get lucky? I... Honestly, I have no idea. I have no idea. Can I tell her to spy on her brother? She would never do it. Anyway, I really don't think he did it. As he told me, if he was going to do it, he would have done it a smarter way. Hmm. <laughs> I refuse to play this game. I don't know. That's why I asked you to guess. Do you know what it means to guess something? Do you maybe want to try again? Fine. I'm not accusing anyone. I'd like to look at the list of people, though, to remember actually who they are. Who's the, who's the dickbag guy? I don't remember who that was. Was it... Oh, it's Pawn 4, isn't it? Yeah, that guy's creepy as hell. Um, I'm gonna go with him. Pawn 4. Jens Skogen, or however you pronounce his name. Just like that. Well, alright. I guess we'll see what we see. Hopefully you're not just picking a name at random. Excuse me. Welcome to my civilian... P picking a name at random after she just told me. That's why I call it a guess. It's like she just said, well, Jesus, would you pick something? And then when I did, it's like she chastised me. Weird. And scenario. The rules are pretty simple. Keep all of the virtual civilians alive through 20 progressively more difficult levels. You are so to receive strong. the highest score, there incapacitate so all the bad guys and keep oh, all civilians yeah. alive. Only a small handful of bishops have managed oh, to reach sure level 20 with all civilians still alive. No pressure. I think I can do it. Jesus. 
Jesus, they go down fast. Level two. I don't actually use that ammo for my weapon, do I? Ooh, what's this? Truck grenade. Wait, can this thing launch grenades? Oh, it can. Ah, this thing. But I don't have to use it. I'm running out of ammo. Oh, I didn't mean to incapacitate. I want to grab their stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not actually using that ammo, but if I'd switched to this weapon, I would be. Ooh, thing looks really inaccurate. Not to mention, for some reason, it looks like the projectiles are coming from the center of the screen instead of the gun. Well, kind of. It's weird. <laughs> I keep pressing R to reload, even though I'm pretty sure you don't need to. Energy shield node. Let's grab some more here. Okay, should be good. Let's try this new weapon. Ooh, music got intense. Shit's going down! Does this thing have a grenade launcher too? No. Oh, actually it does apparently, but no ammo for it. So I actually can incapacitate the soldiers. It's probably gonna be really slow though, I wonder if it matters. I mean, normally I would incapacitate of course, because that's my playstyle, but... Since they're just robots. Well, not even robots, they're just, you know, virtual reality. I don't really see the point. I'll try it, though. See how it goes. I wonder what happens if I get to level 20. There's only one way to find out. Do it. Downfall of the modern military. I'll take it. Am I grabbing, like, shotgun rounds? Is that a shot- a combat shotgun? Okay. Hm. Wonder if it's any good? Does this thing have 56 grenades? Oh my god, apparently I do. That's a lot of grenades. Let's recycle some more things. Such as this cup! Yay, like 1%. Auto-tracking piercing rounds. Ooh, is that for my main weapon? It is. Excellent. Get down. Huh. I said get down. Alright, screw that. Don't shoot at the civilians! Holy 
crap, this is not working too good. Civilian's all good. Civilian's all good. What if these EMP grenades will get rid of their shields? Hmm. Let's try it out. Level 7. I don't know, they don't have very far range. Like, they don't even seem worth using necessarily, like, in this situation. Try the shotgun. Come yeah, on. Hello? Oh, is he just hanging out up there? Well, that's terrible from range. Which I suppose is not surprising, because it's a shotgun. Shock Absorber. What does that do? What does that do? Uses utility energy. The Shock Absorber allows users to jump to great heights. As well as more easily survive a fall. Ooh. Ah, neat. Hey, guys. What's going on? That is super cool. How much energy does it use? Somebody's taking damage? Where? Where? Oh crap. Oh god, this is not good. Oh no, did any of them die? Please tell me they didn't die. Please. Who took damage? Oh, you took some damage. Oh, you're fine, you're fine. Oh, I could even heal you. Uh, is that, is that working? That doesn't seem to be working. I could even tell them to follow me. In that case, why don't I I'm glad you love the consortium, so do I. So oh, I know I am strong, thank you. Fred, Follow me. Oh my god. These things are kind of cute and they're also kind of obnoxious. I was going to tell them all to follow me all the way to the back of the room to be more safe, but that's going to take like five minutes and I really don't feel like doing that. So... Utility full, alright. Auto-tracking arm piercing rounds, or whatever it said. Piercing rounds. Pew! Pew! Ooh, what's that? Hop, hop, hop. Wait a minute, can I jump out of the world? Oh. Or the bridge will just extend. I don't even need them. Alright, let's grab some ammo here. There are so many guns. Look at all of these guns. Wait a minute, there's an auto key for uh, ease take all. Okay. Gotcha. Anymore. Couple over there. I really do want to get to level 20 without losing a single civilian. You're alive. Incapacitated. Alright, 200 rounds. 
Wait, do these these use the same ammo, don't they? Or do they? Yeah, they do. Oh. Well, that explains why when I ran into the first one, I ran into the second one. Durr. Also, this thing's alternative attack is lethal, right? Yeah. Oh, it's a laser beam? Ooh, okay. Good to know. Level 9. Did I make it? No, not quite yet. Ah. Can I actually... Wow, you know, this is going to take a really, really long time. What happened to you? And what's up with the gun? It's got a mind of its own. Alright, I need to heal myself. Which is six, seven? There we go, yeah. Yeah, I actually rebound some of the the um, the inventory keys. Because by default, the keys to access the different the different conversation options. There's a max of four conversation options, one, two, three, four. And you have to press a button to access them. You can't, like, click on them. And by default, they were bound to F1 through F4. Which is really awkward for me to access. And the inventory was bound to the normal 1, 2, 3, 4. So instead, I bound the conversation keys to 1, 2, 3, 4. And inventory keys 1 through 4 to F1 through 4. That was probably really confusing. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's grab some more. Got tons of shotgun. Let's see if I can jump up there. <laughs> Good job. Excellent. Man, I need ammo. Doesn't give me ammo, does it? How, how am I holding all the... Oh my god. Uh, let's recycle some things. Wait, these are guns that I use, aren't they? Shit, what I just recycle? It's just my shotgun. Don't worry, I got it back. What are these? Deflector shield node. What? Like... Oh. I guess now I'm... Oh my god, am I going to be, like, invincible? I have four shields on myself. I mean, not that I was ever about to be vinced anyway. I was more worried for the civilians in my own life, but oh my god. That's a lot of shields. Wonder what goes up there? Some sort of head attachment, maybe? Hm. A moderate amount of ammo for that. Plenty of energy for this. And a million ammos for the shotgun. I can't pick it up. Alright. How about now? No. Hmm. 
I don't, I don't know, recycle that. What the f Do I not have enough room? That was weird. Level 10. Okay, not gonna work here. Taking damage? Oh no, oh no. Where, where? I thought I wouldn't need these shields, but apparently I do. Very much so. Oh no! Oh no! You're gonna be okay. Actually, I don't think I can actually... Oh no, I can heal you. There you go, buddy. You're fine. I don't think I can do this. Like, that was what, level 10? I, I don't think I can do this. It's getting so hard. And this is what the game essentially on easy, which is what they recommended for first-time players. If it was on a harder difficulty, it's like impossible. But I'll keep trying. I want this, I want this, I can do this. Actually, I probably can't. But I shall forge ahead regardless. Oh, PCU full. Whatever, I think I have enough shots. I'm fine. Yeah, I should try this laser beam out. Maybe it's super powerful. Let's try it. I'm level 11. Whoa, there's an underside. Oh my god! This thing is really powerful. Oh shit, oh god, I didn't... I didn't mean to fall. Oh, no. Oh, fuck, I lost a civilian, didn't I? I did. Where did you come from? How the hell did you get here? Wait a minute, can I heal you? Yeah, you're still down. Damn it. My honor. Oh no, there's- oh, there's more up here. Oh! I thought they moved. Yeah, the, I- no way I can do this. There's- there's no way. The grenades! Yeah, bastards. I'm at, oh my god, what has happened to my points? Wow, I just lost like all my civilians. I'm sorry! Oh no! That bastard, this one guy shot them all, didn't he? You fuck. Oh my god. It's okay. It's okay. Get down. Are they like dropping down from somewhere? When the hell is happening? Right, so now my score is minus 32,000. I don't know about you, but I think I lost. Yeah, I'm good. Goodbye. <laughs> There's no point in continuing. I'm gonna go rest. Uh, what the hell is going on, Wade? What the fuck? It's like a bloody light show back here. It's the virus, I'll bet, kicking into overdrive. I'm on my way back to the cockpit. Two minutes. I think something real bad is about to happen. I cannot let you do it, Seeker. 
You must not be allowed to reach the Churchill Tower. Did he just say the Churchill Tower? In London? It may be a she, Alana. Well, that explains what happened. Seven. He must have walked in on whoever that is as they were tampering with Bishop Eight's bus. Be careful, Six. This so-called officer of ours is clearly a little confused. Well, maybe I should unconfuse him. You're not going to do anything, huh? What does my mission say? No, doesn't say anything. Well, I know what I'm going to do. Wait a minute. I can't. I can't knock him, knock him unconscious. What do I do then? Do I go back into the training? Um. Do I punch him? Okay, bye. Virtual trainer not accessible due to signal tampering. Um. I can't talk to him. I can't. Punch him. Whoa. What just, what just happened? Incapacitator kill the traitor. Okay, I guess I finally triggered it. Hang on, B. The virus has hijacked the door and hatch systems. Thinks it's so clever. I'm fighting it, but I'm gonna need uh, about five minutes. In the meantime, there's going to be a seven to twelve second delay when opening doors. Watch your back. Wait, can you track the traitor or not? My sensors are telling me there's bloody intruders everywhere. Including the cockpit. I can't tell what's real. What's up? What? I'm supposed to incapacitate him and yet I can't. Incapacitate or kill the traitor. Are you not the traitor? What? What's- I don't understand what's happening. I feel like the game's broken at the moment. Like, I feel like something's broken. Bye. Hi. Take the bastard down, Bishop. I would love to take him down. What the? F Something's wrong. Alright, something's horribly wrong. Where's my last save game? This is weird. Did he just say the Churchill Tower? In London? It may be a she, Alana. Well, that explains what happened to Pawn 7. He must have walked in on whoever that is as they were tampering with Bishop Eight's bus. Be careful, Six. This so-called officer of ours is clearly a little confused. Mm-hmm. Virtual trainer not accessible due to signal tampering. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I kind of punched in his direction, then activated it, but let me guess, I still can't do anything with him. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Where's the save game from? Oh, it actually has some texture telling you what you've done. That's neat. Alright, let's see when the save game was. Alright, I believe this was from, was from right before I did the scenario, right? 
Okay, so instead of doing the scenario, it says you can also just rest in your cabin. Let's just do that. Let's just rest. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna rest. Everything's gonna be nice, and hopefully everything will actually work. Lights. Hey, Bishop, wait just one minute. This is a private channel between us, so please speak freely. You've been spending some time with the crew since Pawn 7 was killed, and I was thinking if you even had a guess as to who may be responsible. I could keep an eye out. Maybe we'll get lucky? Of course. Pawn 4. Just like that. Well, all right. I guess we'll see what we see. Hopefully you're not just picking a name at random. So, you're going to have another little nap then, are you? Is the bishop sleepy again? <laughs> huh, real cute. <laughs> I actually just thought I'd say thank you, you know, for Kieran. I may have been a little hard on you, but the bottom line is you saved us all from a horribly embarrassing death. So again, thank you. Anyway, new guy, sweet dreams. Hopefully I won't need to wake you with any more excitement. I can get out of bed. If I wait, am I just going to go to sleep? Like, it looks like I'm nodding off. There we go. Whoa! That's different. Here. It's the virus, I'll bet. Kicking into overdrive. I'm on my way back to the cockpit. Two minutes. I think something real bad is about to happen. I cannot let you do it, Seeker. You must not be allowed to reach the Churchill Whoa, Tower. secondary objective Did failed. You the Churchill Tower? In London? It may be a she, Alana. Well, that explains what happened to Pawn 7. He must have walked in on whoever that is as they were tampering with Bishop 8's bus. Be careful, Six. This so-called officer of ours is clearly a little confused. Do you have anything to say before I end this? Alright, so hold on. It said secondary objective failed. Find out who the traitor is. So I've actually failed to find out who the traitor is. What that means is that I'm definitely going to be replaying this game. Because you can obviously make some very different things happen. Alright. Who are you? And why are you doing this? It doesn't matter who I am. And why am I doing this? To save countless lives. Existence will be snuffed out if you are allowed to live any longer. So dramatic. If it doesn't matter who you are, then why hide your voice? <laughs> Good question. I don't think you'll be around to see why. So, don't worry about it. All personnel, stay the hell off the second floor until further notice. I'm in the cockpit now. Good move, Wade. We don't want anyone getting in the crossfire. Come on! Now's your chance. Shoot me down. Prove you're nothing but a cold-blooded killer. Try to negotiate, Six. Failing that, end this by any means necessary. You know, I wonder if I'm crazy, but it almost sounds like a female voice. Going through a voice changer. <laughs> so says the person who murdered Pawn 7. Kill one innocent now to prevent so many more from suffering in the future. That's not murder. It's fate. <laughs> I could not allow him to get away after walking in on me disabling the sensors on the bus locker. <laughs> It's ironic that my forcing his head into the locker is what ultimately triggered the sensors anyway. Uh, I didn't even think to check the sensors on the bus. Christ, 
How was I supposed to know one of our pawns was some kind of bus-wearing crazy person? It's all right, Wade. This is certainly not your fault. So you're going to kill me for something I haven't done yet. I know what it sounds like. The bottom line is that if you are allowed to reach the Churchill Tower, countless people will be prevented from reaching their full potential. Spiritual revolution, Bishop. The most beautiful thing there is. Enough of this. May the light save your soul. We'll see about that. Wait, where's my gun? How come my gun's not showing up? It's in my hand. Ow. Like, it's... It's... It's in my... In my hand. I don't understand. I'm, I'm very, very confused right now. It's in my hand. It's not showing up down here. I'm, I'm pressing the button to oh, to take it out. What the hell? Oh my god, I can't get through this section of the game without everything being bugged. What is going on? Let's, um, try that again. Good move, Wade. I mean, it looks like it's already bugged. Like, it's still bugged. Prove you're nothing but a cold yeah. Killer. Try to negotiate, sir. Failing that, end this by any means necessary. I guess I can punch him to death, but I really want to incapacitate them, not punch them. Hmm. Alright, I'll try to figure this out, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I tried this a couple times, and... No matter how I do it, my gun won't actually come into my hand to use. So what I'm going to try to do is simply run away, and... I don't know, I haven't thought further than that. I'm simply going to run. Get out of my way! Hang on, B. The virus has hijacked the door and hatch systems. It thinks it's so clever. I'm fighting it, but no, there's a delay. Oh, oh god. Wait, can you track the traitor or not? Come on, here we go. Here we go. Ah oh, god. Keep this between me and them. Uh apparently they can just shoot through it, right? Oh god, grenade. You know, get this Batman. Oh god, Luca, we have to go. Yep, you better run. All right, let me see if my gun works now. <laughs> no, it still doesn't work. Okay then. Uh, hi. Maybe I need to get to the. Oh god. Maybe I need to get to the gun thing, such as this. Maybe this one works? But this, this, no, this, this one still doesn't work. Maybe I'm just gonna have to shoot them. Low utility, great. Does this, this one? Why can't I take out a weapon? Why can't I punch? What can I possibly do to you? I can't kill you or inca incapacitate you. I can't do anything to you. Can I get into the cockpit? Or something? Alright, opening the little door over there. Go around in a circle. It just opened. Okay, okay, okay. Can't follow me in here, right? 
theft is imminent. Recycle anything you can. Yes, thank you. Um, I can't really see. Unless you find more energy. Let's recycle everything. I need to be able to see again. Did they just come in here? You didn't just come in here, did you? They're right there. They're right down there. Alright, this door better open really quickly. Come on. Why does it keep resetting? What the f- Okay, um... No, oh, I still even have a gun. One that I still can't take out. This thing's never gonna open. <laughs> oh my god. Hi. How are you? Okay, um... Hmm. Let me make, uh, one final attempt. Alright, let's try this one more time, and I'm gonna- I'm gonna try to do a bunch of different stuff. I'm gonna try to do things as differently as humanly possible. So that maybe I can make it actually work. Like, I don't know what else to do. I mean, I still have my secondary objective at the moment, discover who the traitor is, but how can I do that? I don't think I can talk to anyone else. Like, I'm pretty sure I've already failed that. Somehow. Who can I talk to? I'm pretty sure no one will even talk to me because I've already talked to everyone. I... I don't know. No one in here. I guess I'll just try to do things as... ...differently as possible. I could try the training again. I doubt that would work, though. Go to sleep. Hey Bishop, wait just one minute. This is a private channel between us, so please speak freely. You've been spending some time with the crew since Pawn 7 was killed, and I was thinking if you even had a guess as to who may be responsible. I could keep an eye out. Maybe we'll get lucky? Alright, so who do I go for? Not Pawn 4. It's gotta be somebody else. Honestly, I don't know. Who is... Let's see. Let's go with the guy who tried to talk to me. 
and tell me something, but didn't. Like, maybe he was trying to get me alone so that he could kill me? I don't know. I believe that was Pawn 62, right? I know. I think he's in the 60s. And that's the only one in the 60s, so let's go with that. Just like that. Well, alright. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll see what we see. Hopefully you're not just picking a name at random. No, so, of course not. You're going to have another little nap then, are you? Is the bishop sleepy again? I might as well say the same thing. This isn't going to change much. <laughs> I actually just thought I'd say thank you, you know, for Kirill. I may have been a little hard on you, but the bottom line is you saved us all from a horribly embarrassing death. So, again, thank you. Anyway, new guy, sweet dreams. Hopefully I won't need to wake you with any more excitement. Actually, wait a minute. I can get out of bed. Let's see what that does. Why did my fists just come up? It's weird. Alright, it looks like I can still just rest in my bed. I guess I'll go back to resting. I seriously don't think this is going to work. Here. It's the virus, I'll bet. Kicking into overdrive. I'm on my way back to the cockpit. Two minutes. I think something real bad is about to happen. I cannot let you do it, Seeker. You must not be allowed to reach the Churchill Tower. Did he just say the Churchill Tower? In London? It may be a she, Alana. Well, that explains what happened at Pawn 7. He must have walked in on whoever that is as they were tampering with Bishop 8's bus. Be careful, Six. This so-called officer of ours is clearly a little confused. Do you have anything to say before I end this? Alright, let's go with very different options here. What makes you think you'll do any better than Kirill? Angelov was nothing more than a means to an end. His EMP helped spread the virus I planted. He was never expected to succeed. Come on then, do it. Pull your weapon out or get out of my way. So your MUVI will treat me as a threat and let you fire back? All okay. personnel, stay the hell on the second floor until further notice. I'm in the cockpit now. Good move, Wade. We don't want anyone getting in the crossfire. Come on! Now's your chance. Shoot me down. Prove you're nothing but a cold-blooded killer. Try to negotiate, Six. Failing that. End this by any means necessary. You first. Fine with me. May the light save your soul. Alright, now you're shooting me and my gun probably still won't work. Of course not. Get out of my way. Well, I think... Oh, it did work. And there go the elevator sensors. Keep Hang on, B. The virus has hijacked the door and hatch systems. It thinks it's so clever. Please I'm don't blow it in your locked door. I'm gonna need really, really bad. about five minutes. In the meantime, there's going Holy to be a crap, seven to twelve second delay when opening doors. You're like twins. Watch your back. Wait, can you track the traitor or not? My sensors are telling me there's bloody intruders everywhere, including the cockpit. I can't tell it's real. Ancestors, please protect me. I hope you can see now, Bishop, that oh, I'm not the killer. A 
This better open pretty quickly. <laughs> Damn it. Open. It just opened. Seriously? Again, still doesn't work, right? What the hell is going on there? Some sort of protective field? Wait, I'm sorry, what did you just say? The hangar bay something or other? I don't think I'm gonna live to get there. Come on. Oh, for fuck, did it really just close on me? I can't tell if I'm, like, horribly misunderstanding something, or... Or if this is just, like, bugged. This really seems to be bugged. I can't use my weapon. Before I tried getting a different weapon. A different version of my current weapon, and a totally different weapon. I can't use that. I can't punch them. That doesn't make any sense. Am I missing something? I'm very, very confused. Alright, I'm gonna look up some... ...stuff, and I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. Well, I was about to give up, but I give this another shot. I loaded my save from before I did the either sleep or do the training. And I did the training again, came out, and this time it seems to have actually worked. Now, the traitor is still behaving very, very strangely. He or she is... Well, they have their gun out. But they appear to be trying to run away from me. I have no idea why. But, I can take my gun out. And it looks like I can actually shoot it. So let's give this a shot. Charge up to 100%, and... Boom! Um... Did it. There you go, that's how you shoot me. Can I actually incapacitate you? Is it doing anything? It is doing something, okay. Wait for a big one. Come on. How much stamina do you have? Buy something and recycle it. Shit. Yeah, okay, not so surprisingly I died. Alright, um... You know what? Let me try shooting them with a laser for a bit. To do some damage. Try to negotiate, Six. Failing that, end this by any means necessary. I thought I'd save... Saved later than this, apparently not. Um, you first. Fine with me. May the light save your soul. Okay, let me just make sure this is actually working. Okay, it is. Now, let me make a hard save. Okay. Maybe I'll try to get him down with the laser first. And then inca incapacitate them. Okay, there we go. Okay, incapacitate. I'm pressing incapacitate. No? You don't you don't want to do it? Get the shields off again. 
Get their health down. Incapacitated. Or not. There we go. What is happening? I guess to say we're having a bad day would be an <laughs> understatement at this point. Like ten people just talked at once. What the hell just? Oh, all right. Um. Wait, can you track the traitor or not? What? My senses are telling me there's bloody intruders everywhere, including the cockpit. I can't tell what's real. Everything is wrong. What? What is happening? Maybe we can ask the king for help? I don't even know what I'm replying to. I have, believe me. He's doing everything he can to find the source of this enemy. He's checking every security database from every supporting country and corporation. Hmm. How many countries support the consortium anyway? Last time I checked, we'd garnered support from about 80% of the developed world. Why? What does it mean to have such support? With support comes the ability for us to respond immediately to any environmental or militaristic problem requiring our attention, without permission from anyone. Are you satisfied? Do you even require permission from the country? That's quite enough of this. We don't have time for 20 questions. You apparently need to spend time at an information console. Wade, patch my CMC into the ship's loudspeaker. I've had quite enough fun for one day. Okay, you're on. Attention, everyone. Attention. Today has been a long and difficult day for all of us. And I find myself humbled to have a crew as dedicated and brave as the men and women on this ship. While the day may have been long, unfortunately, it is not yet so long. I was just trying to lock you from the energy chat stations. Sorry, Beast, but I can only get one working at a time. I'll keep you All updated. All personnel will report immediately to the barracks until further notice. This is for everyone's safety. Until the mission ops charge ground. station is online. Thank you. You can't seriously be thinking of locking them in there. That's the plan, yes. Do you have a better idea to help prevent more of our crew members from dying or killing each other? Because I'm all ears if you do. It was Pawn 32. She was responsible for everything. Helping Kirill, planting the virus, killing Pawn 7. All of it. You're treating them like prisoners. And it's frankly disgusting. Alana, don't push me right now. Excuse me! You can't deny that you've been making some pretty bad decisions today. Don't Wait a minute, Pawn 32. W when did we establish that was Pawn 32? Who is Pawn 32? Apparently I need to respond to something. Hold on. Who's Pawn 32? Uh... I think she's covered up by this... Damn it! Who's Pawn 32? Okay, the barracks is next. Get there for some energy charge and goodness. Wade, just... Wade, just be quiet. I love you, but please. You're not supposed to be talking right now. It's best to keep them all in one place, yes. So what? When they start turning on each other in there, we just let it play out? Thank you, Six. And Alana, I am hoping it won't come to that. They are consortium officers, not animals. Hey, hey. Come on, people. Reality check. We're not out of this yet. Can we maybe save the petty arguments for after we touch ground? <sighs> You're right. Wade, how close are you to fixing these bloody lights? Oh, give me some credit. I've got this virus by the balls now that it's shown us its ass. Very colorful. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, we're saving that one. All right. So first, B. I can't power down the system because I've got the energy charge station in the hangar bay working by the CCU. Oh my god, wait. You'd best loot Pawn 32 first. See if she's got it. There's no doubt she took it to try and improve her chances. Not a good it did her. What? Like, when did we establish that that was Pawn 32? Was that when, like, five different people tried to talk at one time? Who is Pawn 32?
Patricia! You're Pawn 32, okay. Apparently she hates me now. Hmm. Doesn't surprise me. Apparently, apparently she thinks I'm, like, evil or something. Is this what I need? Whatever, I'll just take all of it. Oh. I don't have room. Uh... Control chip. That would be this. Now take that chip to the battery crawl and plug it into the control bank there. Battery crawl is accessible from the hangar bay and the galley. In the hangar bay, it's the hatch on the second level directly underneath the CCU. Okay, crawl access in hangar bay or galley. Not even sure what the galley is, so I'll just go to the hangar bay. Get to the galley bay. The energy charge station there is back online. <laughs> I don't need energy charge, Wade. Calm down. Calm yourself down. Hey, how's it going? All right, great chat. Wait, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? The lounge charge station's online. Wonderful way, thank you. Oh, I can talk to you. I hope you can see now, Bishop, that I am not the killer. I can, yes. Alright, where's the crawl space? I just passed it. Again. 